According to Condor, the stench from within the cave is too strong for him. Ooh. Funny, I can't smell anything. He's got a good nose on him. Save the game as outcropping. Mountain top. Mountain cave. Mountain cave. Place. All right. Let's investigate the cave. A cave mouth opens into the cliff face. Could be in here. What's this? It's too dark to make out any details in that part of the cavern. Oh, I'm gonna need a candle. Ready for lighting. I don't need to wax my hair. Can we teleport? <laughs> Take me to um to the Mage's Tower. I'm a little preoccupied right now. Apparently won't let me do it. Oh, a lantern. What's this? That'll help. That'll help. The silhouette of a battered brass lantern is visible against the shadows. Well, that might be helpful. The wick is dry, but I can't light the lamp because the flint is missing. Using a candle to light the lantern might be a good idea if the candle were lit. That sucks. I use enchanted dagger. I can't use... I can't use... I can't... I can't use... Alright. Cave. There's gotta be a flame where I can light up. Take to Ferk's can you take me to Falk's perch? Oh, there's a torch right there. In daylight, the lit torches must serve some symbolic purpose, or imply status. Let's take a candle. We'll light the candle on the torch. Condor is blocking the torch. They are firmly affixed. 
across across the port, the um, gap. Whoa! Get up there. And we'll take this candle and we'll light up this torch. My candle is now burning. On a solitary candle. Oh, I don't need to wax my hair. You got it. Let's do this. Condor, take me back. Take me back to the mountain cave. All right. Take me back to the outcropping. Can you take me to the outcropping? Up, up, and away. Cave. Let's take our lit candle, put it in the lantern. That should do it. Oh, bum, bum, bum. What the heck? They're corpses. Save the game. What are these corpses? The missing envoys, I presume. Oh. The burns suggest they were killed by flame projectiles, like the one that struck Falk. Lord Megyle's guards may have been ordered to assassinate them, but for what purpose? Furthermore, why leave them here? And how did the perpetrator move them up here without being noticed? There is another more disturbing possibility which I had better keep to myself for now. A dragon, 